Hi and welcome to Sociology. Now, as we don't offer Sociology as a GCSE, you may not know much about it. Sociology is a social science, so you will find us in the Humanities Department. Don't worry that we don't run it at GCSE because all our students are extremely successful on this course and you don't need to do a GCSE in it to be successful. So, what is Sociology then? So Sociology is actually the study of society. It's looking at what influences you to behave, what influences us as a society to behave and what factors affect us. So we look at things like media and religion and we look at education and family. How do they all shape the way we behave as a society? And we study them through looking at differences in the way class, ethnicity and gender affect our viewpoints and our behaviour. So, in a nutshell, so uh, sociology is the study of society and what makes it tick. So if that's ticking your box now, then this could be the course for you. To start sociology here, as I said, we don't do a GCSE, so we don't require you to have a GCSE in sociology, but we would like you to have grade fives, please, especially in English, as it is an essay-based subject. Okay, so sociology will, as it being, sorry, as being an essay-based subject, will require you to have those skills or to pick up those skills. And through the course, we will teach you how to be analytic, how to take part in debates, how to produce good arguments for and against a point. And all of these are great skills, whether you go on to do a degree, whether you do an apprenticeship course, or you go straight into the workplace. So. Even if you don't go on to stu study sociology later on, it offers you absolutely fantastic skills that will be used elsewhere. In year 12 and 13, we're following the AQA uh, course. It's the most popular course in the UK and it offers a really wide range of topics within so uh, sociology. So it gives you a really broad, good understanding. In year 12, we'll look at, um, or we can look at education, we look at family, poverty, welfare, religious beliefs and cultural identity. We can then go on in year 13 to look at crime and deviance, media, globalisation and religion and identity. So there's lots and lots of broad topics that we can choose from. The compulsory topics are education, and crime and deviance. How can we explain why certain people commit crimes? What is it that prompts them when they know that there is legislation and laws that can result in imprisonment? Why do they still do it? So we look at how sociologists will explain that. We look at education and we look at differences in the way boys and girls achieve what is it that makes girls now achieve higher than boys in certain subjects? What can we do to bring that achievement up for both genders? We also look at why do, uh, controversial areas within society. Why is it, even in this day and age, five times more black people will be stopped for a stop and search by the police? And that's still going on in the UK at the moment. So what is it that's prompting that? Why is it that women are more religious when religion oppresses them? So again, we look at controversial topics within society and we look at how sociologists will explain those. So sociology is an excellent starting point for um, a number of different degrees. Obviously you could go and do your sociology degree, you could do a joint sociology degree, but it's still because of the skills and the knowledge you gain from the course, it opens up a lot of other pathways like journalism, English, psychology, economics, politics, philosophy, criminology, and even forensics. So it gives you a wide range of areas that you can move into. It's important in, or can be useful in careers in policing, in criminology, forensics, social work, teaching, um, medicine and health and care. It also lends itself to human resource based 
jobs and also any job in business. So again, it complements a wide range of career paths. In uh, your A-level choices, it will again mix well with a lot of different subjects. It will go well with physics and maths because it gives you an alternative. But equally, it will go well with health and social care, with psychology, with PE or sports studies, English, history and geography. They all go well together, business studies. So again, it offers you an alternative to the other A-level subjects that are on offer. Within our department, we've had a lot of great successes and over the last few years, we have achieved 100% uh, passes at A-level and our students have gone on to do really good courses at really good universities. So it is a good, successful subject, gives you a great grounding and understanding for other topics. In terms of assessment, again, it's a linear exam, it's a linear A-level, so you will do all your studying between uh, years 12 and year 13, and then at the end of year 13, you sit three terminal exams. Each paper is two hours long. So you'll have uh, the paper one will be education and theory and methods, paper two will be the two option choices that we choose, could be family, could, um, could be then globalisation, media, etc. added. And then in paper three, we'll do crime and deviance, theory and methods. Hopefully that's given you a good insight to what sociology is. But please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch and uh, talk to me about it. We look forward to seeing you in September.